What are you doing, Mama? Well, we have a little goat, young Billy goat, and we've had him separated from the girls, but he decided sometime this morning that he wanted to get to the girls, so he tried to jump the fence, and when he tried to jump the fence, he caught his leg in the fence, and he was hanging there when Walt went out to check him this morning. So we're going to, I've checked on him, and he seems to have some swelling in his back leg. I don't think it's broken. So we're going to build him a splint to keep the weight off of that foot. And we'll give him some penicillin just as a precaution. And um, I'll probably give him some turmeric as an anti-inflammatory and pain reliever. But right now what I'm doing is making up a couple of splints that will keep uh, the leg straight. And I'm wrapping them in, in gauze just to keep them from irritating the skin. So we'll bring him in here in a bit, but before we bring him in, I wanted to get things set up. So we've got little wooden paddles, uh, some gauze. I'm just wrapping this stick to keep the pressure off of his leg. So that's working really good. So today we have Gandalf in the house. Gandalf is a miniature Nubian and he's uh, one of our breeder goats and he's about 75 pounds. He tried to get to one of the girls this morning and in his um, excitement he hung his foot in a chain, chain link fence and his entire weight was on this right foot. As you can see the left foot's normal size. The right foot, he's putting weight on it so I don't believe it to be broken, but it has a fever in it and it has some swelling. So we just gave him a shot of penicillin and we're going to put a splint on his leg and keep an eye on it. So there you go. Say hi Gandalf. Say hi, Say blue hi eyes. Gandalf. Show them your pretty blue eyes. Hi, the boy goat, and I'm in the house now. We've got little boy Gandalf on the floor. He's down. He's quite comfortable. Walt's got a foot on his neck just in case he tries to throw his head up and get up. A goat will throw their head to, to catch their balance. There's no pressure on it, just a little bit of weight. And Walt's going to sit right there. Hi, Walt. Hi. And video Mama while Mama's working on this foot. It's this foot right here. You can see the swelling in it. And all I'm going to do now, we've already given him a shot of penicillin, so basically all I'm going to do is put a splint on it to keep the weight off that. I think he's got a fracture right in here, right at the joint. It'll probably tend to go into an arthritic uh, situation later in life because I think he got his foot caught right at the joint there in the fence. There's no point of pain up here. Mm -hmm. All right, I can go down to his elbow and he's fine. Okay. And right here, there's a little, um, that's where the fever seems to start. I can feel a place in here where his foot was trapped apparently in the fence for a while. Looks like it might have cut off the circulation. So the swelling started there and he worked his way on down, it looks like, to where the fence was just caught on that hoof and there's a tiny little puncture spot there, but I don't think it's anything we're going to have to worry about. But we'll keep an eye on it. You saw me make these splints a while ago, I made them nice and padded. Walt cut them to uh, about four inches for me because I, I don't want them dragging the ground and I don't want them to affect the bending of his foot when he needs to. All I'm doing here is supporting this possible fracture in this area here. And he's pretty tender on that, so I'm going to work it as gently as I can. Now his hoof, he's going to sit on this part of his hoof, so once the swelling goes down, this foot should be coming to this angle, so I don't want to interrupt it with the, the splint that I'm putting on there. So I've got to keep this just at the hoof line. And that's the way we're going to do it. I'll go ahead and stretch out a piece of this. 
So this is a self-adhesive uh, bandaging. I'm just going to cut off a strip so that I can work with it. And the heaviest padded part will go towards his skin. He's being a very good patient. Most of our patients that end up in the house are very good. We don't seem to have a lot of problem with them. They, they pretty much trust us. I know, it hurts. He gave a little bit of cry there, but not much. Just work slowly and get your gauze on there nice and snug. You've only got one chance normally to get this thing right the first time. <laughs> okay, bud. You're all right. Mama's got you. He's all right. Okay, we're going to let him calm down again. It's pretty painful. I'm actually setting that leg into a splint, and I think there is a fracture in there, so... I can understand his despair. This is going to have to stay on here for probably two weeks before I check it. And since he does live outside, it's got to be stable. Now, I've put that on there. I didn't put one on the front or the back. The reason I didn't is because I want to allow for swelling. We don't want to cut off any circulation if this begins to swell in here. I may have to come back in a couple of days and actually bring this a little more snug around the hoof after the swelling starts to go down. I'm catching this hoof where it turns here. I'm going to go ahead and bandage it right now just to keep it from rolling up when he walks. For the most part, what I want him to do is carry this foot for a while. He's starting to stress out a little bit, trembling a little bit because of the pain. But he's being very good. I can apply some pressure to that splint while not apply, applying pressure to the tender part, part here. Okay, he's pretty well stressed. He's trembling quite a bit right now. And I think for the most part, I'm done. What I do want to do is find some tape. I don't have any medical tape right now. So we'll let him calm down a bit. Okay, so I've just cut a couple of pieces of tape and I'm not going to go around his foot with this tape because it will not allow for expansion. Just taping that onto itself so that the bandage doesn't come off. Okay, there he is. You can see he's got his, his foot on the floor. My goal is to have him carry that foot, that leg for maybe a, a few days, but the pressure is off. The bone is not going to flip from side to side. If it... This bandaging allows for expansion of swelling. It's not dragging the ground, so it'll be nice and clean. And although this looks a little snug up here, it's, it's not. And this is probably the most sensitive part of his foot. But he's, he's good, I think. We'll give him a couple of days and check back with him.